two and a half years of tireless dedication. The commitment and effort of countless individuals focused on a single goal, the safe return to flight of the Space Shuttle Discovery and her crew of five. The STS-26 mission would be much more than the test of a spaceflight vehicle. It would be the ultimate verification of human determination and pride. Never before had NASA undertaken a challenge of this magnitude. Although accomplishment and excellence had always been synonymous with the space program, America's aerospace and scientific community was faced with the task of rebuilding it. And rebuild it, they did. Fire! The responsibility for providing a safe and reliable propulsion system for the shuttle rested with the people of the Marshall Space Flight Center. Their job would require every bit of the technological and management expertise they could muster, and every ounce of personal dedication. Redesign and certify. Test and retest. Check and recheck. One of the most aggressive and comprehensive test programs in history. We have a go for main engine start. Seven, six, we have main engine start. The motor's up and running. Although this process would not be easy, their efforts would culminate with several successful key system tests, each one moving NASA a step closer to the new beginning. We have a go for a shutdown, and we have saving in progress. The preparations had seemed overwhelming at times, and the attention and scrutiny of the entire nation had been focused on NASA's day-to-day -day activities. At Cape Canaveral today... A the result has been new testing programs and redesigns. Well, so far, so good. That's the words that I... From satellite report ready from the Kennedy Space Center. Uh, it's the people who make things happen. Engineers right here at the Marshall Space Flight Center. All but eventually, the modifications and improvements were made. The long hours and hard work had been invested. The time had come. Just over 36 hours now before the scheduled launch of the Space Shuttle Discovery, and the countdown does continue. The world would once again be looking to the activities now taking place on the historic eastern coast of Florida, the Kennedy Space Center. These five men would carry the hopes and dreams of every American citizen into space with them. The Michigan control team's ready. I know the launch control team here in uh, Florida is ready. Uh, the bird is ready, and we're ready. As in the past, the public would once again rally behind the space program. Support was evident at every turn. Go Discovery. I think everybody's waiting for that bird to fly tomorrow and just sit there and cheer. Green ribbons were everywhere, and uh, wherever we go to eat and stop, or anywhere on the street, people have green ribbons on for Go, for Discovery. Light Rock 99.3 FM is WLRQ Coco. Good afternoon, I'm John Robbins. We're coming up very shortly on the launch of Discovery, and I tell you, the phone lines have just been jammed for local artist Kenny Michael's song, which has been chosen by the Tourism and Development Council as the official song for the launch of Discovery. Here's Fly On on Light Rock 99.3 FM. Now, let's go Discovery. Thousands of men and women. I'm extremely proud of this team and all the members of this, this NASA family. We're ready. The shuttle stack is ready. Discovery is ready. And tomorrow, uh, the shuttle should return to its proper place in the sky and launch us into a new era of uh, manned flood operations support of our space program. STS-26 was go.
This is shuttle launch control at T-minus three hours and holding. NASA test director Frank Merlino has been in contact with personnel over at the astronaut quarters and has given them permission to wake the flight crew in preparation for this morning's launch of STS-26. The crew has a wide variety of uh, breakfast items to choose from, ranging from cold cereal to steak and eggs, juice, milk, and other beverages. September 29, 1988. Thousands gathered together to witness the historic event. Across the country and around the world, all eyes were on pad 39B. T minus 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. We're go for main engine start. 7, 6, start. Everybody was very excited about being here. And then uh, at ignition, there was a roar in the firing room where I was. And then uh, two minutes later, when we get the SRB uh, separation command, uh, there was another loud roar. Standing by for solid rocket booster separation. After performing flawlessly during ascent, the redesigned solid rocket boosters descended side by side into the Atlantic. Meanwhile, the main engines continued to boost Discovery to orbit. Main engine cutoff confirmed. Discovery's three main engines have now shut down its program. The external tank concluded the perfectly executed propulsion sequence with a fiery re-entry and planned breakup over the Indian Ocean. And Space Shuttle uh, Discovery is now in orbit. As I expected, uh, NASA and the Marshall Space Flight Center, I believe we're at our best when uh, things are a little dark. If you go back two and a half years ago, certainly that was the uh, spot we found ourselves in. But uh, as before, a lot of hard work, a lot of dedication, uh, commitment to the program paid off. This, this whole thing has been a total team effort. I've never seen people work so hard as they have in the last two and a half years to pull this off. And it's, you know, everybody should be just extremely proud. Well, I think I sat there probably a little white knuckled. Uh, but uh, again, uh, prayer on my, in my heart that uh, 
the flight would be successful as it was. Yeah. Chills went all over my body. I was, I wanted to scream. I think I did scream. I'm glad we're in, back in flight again. I'm glad they're up there, and I'm glad that we're uh, starting to experience the uh, thrill of victory again. <laughs> it was just great. Just wonderful. It's been too long. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Indescribable. Fantastic. It's great to be back. It means more to us than uh, we can really describe. Uh, uh, we owe the people that, that did this so much. They worked so hard for so long. And it means so much to, uh, to this center and to this country. During the next four days, NASA would demonstrate that the entire space transportation system was indeed ready to resume flight operations. STS-26 would provide the country with an opportunity to relive the dream. A time to re-examine the reasons we must continue to explore and utilize the resource of space. A time to again experience its awesome beauty and to reflect upon its ultimate risk. Today, up here where the blue sky turns to black, we can say at long last to Dick, Mike, Judy, to Ron and Al, and to Krista and Greg. Dear friends, we have resumed the journey that we promised to continue for you. Dear friends, your loss has meant that we could confidently begin anew. Dear friends, your spirit and your dream are still alive in our hearts. Flight Dynamics Officer reports, Discovery looking good, rolling on to final. But maybe the greatest accomplishment associated with the STS-26 mission had already been realized even before launch. The teamwork and commitment by the men and women of NASA and its contractors was unequaled in scope and precedent. The task held immense responsibility and would not be without obstacles. But these dedicated people have overcome obstacles before, opening doors to the future. Again, they responded, a tribute to the vision, determination, and ingenuity that has made America the leader in space exploration. We'll stop. Roger, we'll stop, Discovery. Welcome back. A great ending to the new beginning. Now, with renewed confidence and pride, the future holds new challenges and expectations. With the same dedication that ensured Discovery's successful return to flight, the potential is unlimited. And since success ultimately depends on people, the shuttle program is in very good hands. NASA is back. America is back. <laughs>